Hello, Sirhan. Welcome to the class. How are you doing today? Fine. Thank you, teacher. How are you? Very good. Thank you for your punctuality. I appreciate it. Thank you. You were the first one. And Alex, welcome to the class as well. How are you? Thanks, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. I finished uh, the, the... The platform? Platform. Oh, the dinner. <laughs> oh, dinner. Oh, I was like, oh, did you finish platform? Oh, okay. But in, guys, in my, you finished in my, platform? In my platform, I, I have a 90%, 90 uh -huh. but uh, but uh, only once uh, uh, a question is missing for today. Okay, okay. So maybe what we can do, guys, is you can send me to the chat the exercise where you are having problems and we can discuss that at the end of the class. Okay, just send here uh, to Zoom uh, chat the question, for example, you have problems with 4.7 or 5.3 or something like that. Send it here, send it to the chat, and I'm going to check later. Okay. Now, today we have the last class. Today is, today's, today is the last, last, very last class. Then we're going to wait. I don't know. Maybe we're going to wait. No, tomorrow we don't have classes. <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow it's Friday. Day off. Yeah, we're going to have you. the day off. Well, no. Just at night. Just at night. But then I have classes. Yes. yes. So um, what I, were, I was going to tell you that we don't know for sure when we're going to start with the next module, okay? So we don't have that information because I, as I was telling you yesterday, we have to wait for the scholarships. So the scholarships... Almost, almost one month. Almost one month, almost a month or maybe more. We don't more. know. Yeah, sometimes... I'm, I don't want to lie to you because sometimes it's more time, but sometimes it's like just, what, three weeks, four weeks, but then it takes, sometimes it takes a little bit longer. I'm just telling you, so you know that some, well, if you are like, hey, three weeks passed already or a month passed already and we don't have information from, from English Corporativo. It's not that we don't want to give you information or it's not that you're not in the next module. It's that we are still waiting for the scholarships. Okay? That's okay. what I want you to understand there. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Now, uh, we're gonna finish today and I'm gonna finish like yesterday. So we were practicing a little bit of uh, oh, what's this? Idioms. Yeah. Right. I'm sorry, guys, but I have. I have allergic. Allergic. Yeah, I have all. I, um, I have all that today. Evie, tell me. Uh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. I finished the, the platform today, and I don't know if I have a problem with them because the platform doesn't give me the certificate. But it gave you the total of your platform progress? 80%. What is your 80%? 80. Yes. I don't know. Actually, I don't know. In the last modules, when you finish the platform, you get the diploma? Yes. Yes. And right now, Sirhan, you got the diploma? Yes, I have. Mm, and if you don't. No, no it's, it, only only you pass eighty four cent for the platform. Automatic, automatically, is automatically it the bottom is for the print your uh, uh, di diploma. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yes, we should uh, be uh, up. 80% in my case and when I when I have a 85% is my certificate is is uh, disponible Okay so if you have like 85% then you got a diploma your certificate yeah. is is up 
Eight, eight, oh, so with 80%, 81. no, you have to have more than 80%. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 81, wow. 81, or oh, 80, 80, exactly 80. Um, Evis have a, has a problem what in, in the exactly 80%. 80%, correct. Evis, so you got exactly 80%. 80.3. Three or two? No, I don't remember. Percent. Okay, so today maybe you can send me the number of some exercises where you have problems, and today we're gonna check those exercises. Maybe if you get a better grade, you will get the diploma or the certificate. Uh, let's try that. But if you don't get it, then you have to call or you have to text or send a, a message to us up to uh, the English Corporativo administrative people, okay? Okay, thanks. Okay, well, um, any other question? Any other doubt? Actually, actually, I remember for the, for the English Corporativo saying the you don't know the complete the platform on Wednesday, you don't for complete the, certificate well let's see because yeah i suppose there's i suppose there's a way but we hope that still today we can finish but if not that's why i'm telling evis that she has to contact the people from english corporative okay okay, okay. perfect thank you nobody else okay. well Welcome to the class, guys. Welcome to this one that is your very, very last class in pre-advanced number three. Congratulations, because you're about to be advanced level. And then after advanced level, you're gonna be out and then on your own to work on something related to English or just to be a bilingual person, okay? So only need the advanced, we're almost there. We will have to wait a little bit, but even if we have to wait a little bit, I always encourage you to keep on going. Don't stop right now. Even if you have to wait a little bit longer than usual, maybe you have to wait for three weeks or a month, be patient because you're almost there, almost. You're this to, like, to, this to be there. And once you get there, everything is gonna be good for you. Because remember, if we go back, to intermediate, or if we don't practice, we will go back. And if we go back, then we'll have to wait longer to get the last certificate. So I encourage you to keep on going. Okay, and thank you for being here. Thank you very much. Because yesterday I was like, eh, I don't wanna be here, what's happening? It's almost the end of the month. Maybe the, the end of the month, I mean, well, the month as well or pues porque pagaron. Maybe it's because they paid already. <laughs> so we had a little bit of money to have fun, right? Well, um, let's start with today's class. Yesterday we were practicing a lot of idioms that I hope you include in your daily speaking habits, okay? So maybe you can, in, like you can take those idioms and you can place them on the English. Instead of saying good luck, you say break a leg. Instead of saying I'm here for you no matter what, you will say what? What is it? Sirhan, you have your microphone muted. Microphone, Sirhan, microphone. Hello. Uh -huh. I, I, have a, I have a question, please. Uh -huh. uh, uh, I have a question. Uh, is 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 um, normal for mixed uh, Britain English and Brit and English language? Because in the internet, I have more uh, modings or modimos. And idioms. practice uh -huh, idioms for for all day. And, and, and my question is: Is correct for mixing the all 
the old language or no? Okay, let me try to figure out your question. You're asking me maybe if it is okay to say an idiom in English and in British. In British English, for example, and, and saying my pleasure, but is my pleasure is only saying in British English. No, they can understand uh, no. that in American no. English as well. There oh, are okay. some things they won't understand. So there are some things that they won't understand. Oh, okay. But or yeah. sneak, sneaker or, or tennis. Okay, Sirhan, your question is very open question because okay. there's not a short answer to that. No, many British people, they speak with different words and they have different meanings for those words. But if you speak to them in American English, they will understand. They just will think that it's funny how you say it, but they understand because they say some things different. For example, matter, for example, this, it, to say it doesn't matter, they will be, it, they will say it doesn't ma, ma, uh, ma, uh, matter, matter, no, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, matter. it doesn't matter, mm -hmm. yeah, something like that. So mm -hmm. yes, they will understand, but it's not the same. Everything, like every word is not the same. For example, to say cookie, Cookie in British is biscuit. Yes. And no. So it's not the same, but they will understand. Okay. This is my pronunciation yeah. words. They have many different things. Many, many. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's the same in the Spanish for El Salvador, it's the same or oh, some words is different significant in, in, in different mm -hmm. countries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And I always think that learning Spanish is harder or more difficult than learning English. Yeah. And, and okay. that, yeah, that, like Alex is saying, yes, it's true. Because sometimes in, well, there was a time uh, when I lived in the United States, I was living with people from Spain, Chile, 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 um, Argentina, uh, Colombia, Mexico. So they, what well, there was a time when I say, pasame un guacal. They were like, a what? Un guacal. Like, I don't get it. What is a guacal? It's like, con lo que sacas agua de la pila. Like, they don't get it. Like, they don't speak like we do. Nobody, nadie de Colombia, de Mexico, na, nobody understood what I was saying. Because I was speaking, actually, I was speaking Nahuatl, not Spanish. Because Huacal, that's not Spanish. That's a Nahuatl word, right? So, thank you. Um, so that's why when we were saying something, we will use the English word. So it was like, just give me a receipt. And they were like, oh, why is that? Something like that. They don't get it. They don't get it. Like it's, if, if it is difficult in Spanish, it's difficult in English, but it's more difficult in Spanish. That's for sure. It's more, more, more complicated in Spanish. And yeah, let's not touch that place, but yeah, we have American English. We have British English. We have Australian, that is so difficult to understand, Australian English. We have South Africa, South Africa English. We have many different types of English. We have actually Caribbean English. People from Hawaii, they speak a very, very, very different kind of English. So yeah, there are a lot of things. You will have just to figure it out by yourself, but yeah. Okay, anyways, let's not take a little bit more longer on that, and we're going to do a practice. Remember that yesterday we were practicing tag questions. What are tag questions? For example, when I say an affirmative statement, and then I ask with the verb that I'm using mainly in the sentence. 
sorry. You are my friend. What is the verb in this end? Can you tell me? R. R. So we're gonna use the verb, but in the negative way, because we do we do the opposite, and then we say the subject. You are my friend, aren't you? You are my friend, aren't you? That is called tag question, just a confirmation question. Then I say they live in El Salvador. They live in El Salvador. What is the verb in that? What is the verb? Syrian. What is the verb? Live. Live. And live, there's not a negative for live, but we have auxiliaries. What can we use for auxiliary in this case? Don't. 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 They. Don't they? Like that. You are my friend, aren't you? They live in El Salvador don't they? Then if we use modal verbs, like we should study, we should study. In this case, I'm using like the main verb is study, but the modal verb is should. So I'm going to use should to ask the question in negative. Okay, so we should, we should study. The third question will be shouldn't we? Shouldn't we? Shouldn't we? But you do that intonation, okay? Shouldn't we? Like that. And then let's just do a negative one. I no. You don't play the guitar. Now the negative is don't play. So what am I gonna do with the affirmative? The third question, if the sentence is negative, the third question is affirmative. If the, uh, the affirmative, I mean the statement is affirmative, the third question will be negative and that. So this case is negative, you don't play the guitar. Then, to, Are you? Um, no, look at okay. the auxiliary, don't. Mm. You don't play the guitar? Do you? Do you? Play? Do you? Do, do. you? Only do you. Remember, we're not going to say the verb. We're just going to yeah. use auxiliaries, verb to be, or modal verbs. Just with that. Rule. The third question needs to be opposite to the main statement. Second rule. You're going to use the verb to be auxiliary or modal verb to make the that question then we use the uh, uh, the question the that question with the subject we don't use the verb let's do one more example and that will be it. he doesn't like pizza he doesn't like pizza so what is the auxiliary in he doesn't like pizza? Doesn't. So in the third question will be doesn't or does? Does he? Mm -hmm. Does no. he does with he? the subject? Exactly. Does he? Does he? Does it? Okay. So we're gonna do a practice in this moment. I'm gonna send you a link to the chat. Let me know if you can open it. There it is. Try to open it. Maybe and tell me if it worked. Yeah. Okay, what we're gonna do with that? We're gonna work together. So here it says, he was at the park. So obviously the main verb is what? What is the main verb of that statement? Was. Was. So it's affirmative. 
My third question will be? Wasn't he? Negative. Wasn't he? And then I add the question. Like that. So you're going to complete the other ones. You get it? You get the idea? Yeah? Or no? Just, just going to make the third question. Basados in the statement, you're going to make the third questions. Is that clear, guys? In two is the other. Yeah. Aren't they? Yeah. But the, the activity, guys, I mean, I want you to say yes, no, teacher. I don't get it. So is the activity clear? Yes, teacher. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm speaking alone. I'm just talking to myself. So there you have the link. We're gonna work in groups. So please try to do your best. No, se vayan solo porque vamos a break for groups. Let's do some practice now. Join the break of rooms, I send you the invite. Let's go. Evis, you there? Are you there, Evis? Do you share the link? Teacher, do you share the link, please, again? Can you share the link? <laughs> Can you share the link? Yes, if there. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay.
read the sentence. Uh, one, se one, one by one. Yes, yes. Okay. okay. Let's begin. Uh, uh, the, the sentence complete. Okay. When you, yes. when you answer. Okay. Yes, okay. Again, okay. you started, Marielo. Okay. He was at the park, wasn't he? Okay, Alex. They are busy, aren't they? Milton. She can ride a bike, can she? And Boris Hello. had a problem with your audio. Yeah. Okay. Marielos, continue. Marielos. You have been there, haven't you? Okay. They were there, weren't they? He is sensible, is he? he? Couldn't sleep, could you? You aren't in the class, are you? She can escape, can't she? He isn't at the university, is he? They weren't at the beach, were they? Okay. Oh, it's a problem. The, Boris, the please. I, I, I don't see. Screen. <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, it's number is para, para, para responder is the question is in negative is time affirmative is negative okay Ibis I'm gonna tell you when we do tag questions okay tag questions is just to confirm what we said and the tag question will be like in Spanish vas a ir a, vas a, ir a la fiesta or no so it's in negative o oh, no vas a ir a la fiesta, o oh, sí. So it's in affirmative. If the sentence is affirmative, the tag question will be negative. If the statement is negative, the tag question, no, no I mean, my, sorry, sorry, my internet got disconnected. So what I'm telling you, um, the tag question is used to confirm, and the tag question needs to be opposite to the sentence. So if the sentence is affirmative, the tag question, negative. If the statement is negative, the tag question, affirmative. With the verb, the main verb, and you can use verb to be, auxiliary, do, or don't. In any case, do, do does, don't, doesn't. And with modal verbs like should, can, would, and could. Is it better now, Iris? Yes. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> teacher, I have a question. Uh -huh. we, we finished the question tag because it's uh, in evaluation is zero of the of thing. Zero because, of ten. Yes, yeah. because uh, interrogation thing. Maybe the maybe the question mark question mark and oh. try to do. Uh, Lowercase. So, for example, the W is capital. Do lowercase. Lowercase. Que no pongan mayúscula. Don't oh. use mayúsculas, please. Okay. Okay. Okay.
La bolsita de la... Ok, what happened? It's a problem because it's a uh, devaluation of with tax is zero the of the, the of ten. Really? Yes. Can you show I... me? Okay. Oh, but I need the answers. Por qué borrar una respuesta? Is cuando nos califica. Perdón. Is in the qualification is a uh, a. I... Uh, zero of thing uh, I have uh, inicia is iniciamos okay. otra vez solo deme el primero del primero quiero ver el primero primera uh -huh. respuesta okay. lo okay. la capital letter dije que quitara la mayúscula ojo uh -huh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> Pon el question mark. Pon el question mark. No, oh, 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 para dónde, para dónde? Question mark. Okay. ¿Dónde, dónde? Question mark. El signo de pregunta, Miguel. Oh, sorry. Ahora sí, dele calificar. Comprobar mi respuesta. El para arriba. Ok, déjenme ver entonces el problema aquí. Déjenme ver. Un ratito para el problema. Espérese. Vuelvo a enseñar. Quiero ver. Uh -huh. Wasn't, wasn't, wasn't he? Oh, ya vi cuál es el problema. Esta persona le dio un espacio antes de cada, antes de cada cuarto. Ok, ok. Vaya, ya entendí. Ok, thank you. Bueno, pero le creo. I believe you. Ok. <laughs> ok.
que ya terminé casi. Ok, so there was a problem, right? There was a problem with the answers because they were zero out of 10, right? The same happened to the other group, to Miguel's group and Mariello's group. The same happened to both of you guys? I don't have any problem. I don't have problem. When they calificaron, there wasn't a problem? No. All is true. All is true. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, said, so, oh, but body said, yeah. Yeah, there was a problem. I think there was a problem. Tendría que haber un problema si no le hicieron mal. Porque el problema era que daba, eh, que el, al dar el, el enter, le habían dado doble enter al, al espacio para la, para la pregunta. So that was a oh, problem. I, I didn't understand that. Let me, I only, I only oh, think see. that it was a practice. Like that, look. Wasn't he? Si lo hago así, va a salir incorrecto. Tenía que darle verdad aquí. Un enter. And that was correct. Sí. Oh, okay. That was the situation. Okay. That was the problem. Uh -huh. Okay. But anyways, what we're going to do right now is you're going to read the statement and then you're going to tell me the that question. For example, you're, you're going to say, he was at the park, wasn't he? But before we do that, I need you to watch the video where they explain the pronunciation. So let me go with the pronunciation of that. Let me share. Listen and practice. Use following intonation in talk questions when you're giving an opinion and want to know if the other person agrees. Intonation in tag questions. Part A. Listen and practice. Use falling intonation in tag questions when you are giving an opinion and want to know if the other person agrees. Ethnic conflict is a terrible problem, isn't it? They should make guns illegal, shouldn't they? Before we go, we want to remind you that you may play the audio programs, explanations, and videos as many times as you need to. It is always a good idea to practice with your friends. The intonation, we have two types of intonation, falling intonation and rising intonation. Rising intonation, it's like when you're go a little bit higher and falling intonation is you're going down with the pronunciation. So for example, I said, you're paying attention, aren't you? Aren't you? That's falling intonation. Then again, you, no me voy a decir, uh, you are paying attention, aren't you? No, it's not like reading the same as you are paying attention, aren't you? And I do like that, you feel, it, you, you can feel this a question, okay? Now, wait a second. I don't know if you knew that in the, let me see, course, doctor, curso, wait a second, guys. I need to know if you got it or you don't. I think you don't. But the thing is, you have the platform open and you can enter the platform as many times as you want. We are work, oh look, we are working on generating CURS certificates. If you have earned certificate, you will be able to access it today from now. You will also be able to view your certificates on your learner profile. Oh, okay, Ibis, so here is your answer. Ibis, that you were asking me? This one. So they are working on that. Maybe there is a problem. So if you have earned certificate, you will be able to access in two days from now. You will also be able to view your certificates on your learning profile. So you finish the platform today, Ibis? Yes. So maybe that's the problem that you will have to wait like two days to get your diploma. 
but always send a message to the people uh, from English Corporativo just to confirm. But I think that is the issue, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, perfect. Now, let's do some reading practice. I did the first one and I said he was the part, wasn't he? Now, uh, Maria, let's read number two with the third question. Excuse me. They are busy, aren't they? Excellent. Miguel, three. She can ride a bike. Can she? Okay. Alex Haco, four. Um, you have been there, uh, have you? Haven't. Oh, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Sirhan, five. I, they were, they were there, uh, are where? Mm -hmm. They were there, what is the verb? Where? So where? the negative of where? Weren't. 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 They. Weren't they. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Boris, help me with the number six. Here. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Okay. He isn't sad. Is he? Excellent. Evis? You couldn't sleep. Uh, could you? Excellent. Milton? Milton? What number, teacher, please? Okay. You are in, you are no, in the ten, class. Ten, 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 ten. Teacher? No, you're, yeah, no, yeah, it's, it's eight, correct, it's eight. You, you are in the class. Are you? Are you? Are you? Okay. Uh, Maria, los nine, then again. She can escape. Can, can she? Okay. Um, Alex. He is sent at the university. Is he? Excellent. Miguel. They weren't at the beach. Were they? Excellent. Boris. He hasn't taken the medicine. Has she? Okay. Ibis? You could stay at, you home. Could stay at home. Couldn't you? Couldn't you, correct. Um, Milton? She was in the market, was she? Okay. Sirhan? You can drive a car, drive you? No, el verbo auxiliar, Sirhan, ¿cuál es el auxiliar? Can, can, uh -huh. can, uh -huh. can you? Can you, can, can afirmative, you. remember, can, es de opposite, afirmative, okay. Uh, Marielos. Okay, they were in at home, were they? Excellent. Uh, then again, let's go with Alex. We have gone together. Haven't we? Okay. Um, then again, Evis. What is it? It is important. 18. It is important. No, is 18, 18. Well, okay. I'm going to go valid with he's a working as he. And the number 18 is we are in the fourth grade, aren't we? A number 20, Boris. She couldn't sell the clothes. Could she? Okay. Excellent. Very good, guys. Well, luckily, this is time to say goodbye to the pre advanced number three. Hopefully, I will see you guys on advance, maybe. Who knows? And remember what I told you be patient, wait for the right time to come for the next, mo next module because sometimes it takes a little bit long or a little bit longer than usual so what you need to do is be patient and practice as much as you can okay okay 
Okay, I, teacher. Thank I you for your time. Okay, teacher. Thank see you. you when Thanks I see you. Le veo cuando le vea y si nunca le veo, pues. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Pero si me voy a la calle y me saluda. Okay. Okay. Thanks for your time. I appreciate. Okay. Excellent. Bye, Boris, por fin le conozco. Perfect. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye, guys.